This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an eMachines E625 laptop computer on which we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen. Okay, before we start anything, the first thing we're going to do is take out the battery. You slide this lever here and lift up the battery like this. So please take out the battery before you start work. Okay, in order to remove this screen and replace it on this laptop, you need to remove the plastic frame around the screen, also known as the bezel, and then you get to the screen. To remove the plastic frame, there are some screws that are hidden by some rubber feet and so we use an exacto knife to remove the rubber feet to expose the screws and before we go further let's go over the tools we're going to need we're going to need an exacto knife with a pointed blade an electronics screwdriver with a ph1 bit and pH zero bit. So we might not need the smaller bits, but it's good to have it just in case. And also a pair of sharp metal tweezers. Okay, so let's get back to our work. We remove the rubber feet. Just be careful with the exacto knife. Make sure the adhesive stays on. Like so. Now you notice the middle rubber feet, there's no screws behind there, so we put these back on so we don't lose them. That reduces the amount of work for us. So we only have to remove four rubber feet, three, and four. Okay, next we use the pH one bit to remove the four screws that are holding the plastic bezel around the screen. One screw, so each set of screws I like to keep them in their own pile and it makes the job easier when putting the screen back together again. So here's our pile right here. Okay, three. and four. I'm going to use my left hand for this for a better camera angle. Okay, and four. So next is probably the trickiest part of the job. We have to remove the plastic frame. What I like to do for this is put my fingers on the screen side, fingertips on the screen side, kind of dig in with the fingertips onto the frame and gently start popping it open and just go around and take your time this one is fairly easy some are more difficult and just take your time and then if one part doesn't work go to the next part and so on until you got it okay so we took the plastic frame off and we put it to the side and the screen itself, the LCD panel itself, is mounted on some metal brackets on the side with screws holding the panel on the sides. So let's take a look if we can easily get to these screws. It looks like we can easily get to all of the screws. So what we do is grab our screwdriver, tilt the screen forward a little bit, and start removing the screws one by one. Now I decided even though I can get to it, there's a trick to make the screws get to the screws a little bit easier. What I do is I loosen this screw a little bit and that makes the plastic hood tilt back a little bit. Don't unscrew it all the way, just loosen it. And this way it's easier to get to the screw. The thing that you must remember is to tighten it again once you start putting the laptop back together. So two, three screws on each side and have the screen tilted back a little bit so when all the screws are released the screen just doesn't fall forward. Okay, I'm gonna loosen this screw also to get better access. 
and then we start taking the screws out one by one. One, two, and three, like so. Okay. Next, once we remove all the screws, the screen is free, so we gently tilt the screen forward to make sure that nothing is getting in the way. Now this is an older type of CCL felt screen called cathode fluorescent. It's got a separate cable for the video and another plug for the backlight lamp, the cold cathode backlight lamp. So we have to remove both those connectors. First we remove the video connector. There's a piece of adhesive tape. We use our X-Acto knife to lift it up. And then we lift up the tape like so. And then remove the connector like so. So that was easy. And now we have to remove the plug for the backlight. So the cable is trapped behind this inverted circuit board, so we have to loosen up the inverted circuit board to get to the cable. Actually, we probably have to remove it. Okay, so we remove the circuit board, take the cable out, and pull the plug. Okay, so like so. Alright, the screen is released. I'm going to make some comments on the screen. This is a CCFL screen. You may open up your E625 and instead of CCFL screen, you'll have a LED screen. And the way you can tell is it's not, instead of having two connectors down here and here, it's just going to have one connector here. And actually it's easier than a CCFL screen because it's just one connector. And you pretty much do the same thing as for this connector. You lift up the tape and just pull the connector out and that's it. Okay, and um, let's take a look at this screen. Like I said, it's a 15.6 inch CCFL screen. Fairly common. Shouldn't have any trouble finding it on Google or eBay. Or if you want, we also sell these screens. We can provide it to you also. Just go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy screen. Okay, let's take a look at the part number, see if we can get a good focus. It's B156XW01. That's all you need to know, B156XW01. Now, once you get your screen, and once, once you get your screen in, just do everything backward and put it in. Now with this laptop, what I would do is I would take out the screen first and check to make sure if it's an LED screen or a CCFL screen before you order it. So to make sure. Okay, the other thing to note, it's a, it's a glossy finish as most screens are. And uh, so this is called a 15.6 inch CCFL screen and the other type is called a 15.6 inch LED screen. So when you're ready to put it back in, you reverse the procedure exactly as we said. So put plug the connector in here. If you want, you can still hide the wire behind or you can just leave it angling out front. Put the screen in. Make sure you tighten these screws and then put the bezel on and it should be ready to go, no problem. And uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much.